Hey guys, this is Ashley from the South Houston Library, and today we'll be doing a lab. We'll be doing strawberry DNA extraction. So we'll be taking out DNA from a strawberry. So an introduction to what we're doing. Remember that DNA is found in cells. Living things are made of cells, so cells make up plants, animals, and bacteria because those are all living things. If you look at the picture over here, you can see a that it's strawberries are made of cells and normally in order to look at cells you would need a microscope but this is just an image to show you that strawberries are made of cells um, and DNA is found inside of those cells as you can see over here and DNA controls everything that happens in the cell and so the cool thing about strawberries is that they have lots of DNA so we can use household items to isolate DNA from a strawberry and that's what we're doing today so in order to take out DNA from a strawberry, these are the ingredients, the household items that you will need. So you will need one Ziploc bag, two cups, a cheesecloth or a strainer or a coffee filter. You'll need water, one third of a cup, dish soap, two teaspoons, salt, one fourth of a teaspoon, one strawberry, a spoon or something to mix, a tweezer, and isopropyl alcohol and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put the isopropyl alcohol in the refrigerator because you will need it to be cold by the end of the experiment okay so in this cup i have one third cup of water and i'm going to add to it two teaspoons of soap dish soap And then I will add one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And then you're gonna mix it until all the salt dissolves. And this is gonna be your extraction mixture. The soap, it opens up the cell so we can get the DNA from inside. And then the salt, it builds up a good environment for the DNA to clump together. Now you're going to add your strawberry to your Ziploc bag and you're also going to add your extraction mixture. Try to remove as much air as you can and close the Ziploc bag. Now that the strawberry is dissolved, you're going to take your cheesecloth or you can also use a strainer or coffee filter and you're going to put it over your empty cup. You're going to filter what's in the bag over the cheesecloth and you might need some help with this. And what this is going to do, it's going to eliminate some of the parts of the cell that we don't need. I'm going to take off the cheesecloth and put it to the side and now I'm going to add the cold alcohol to my mixture and I try to add as much as the strawberry mixture as I have an equal amount of alcohol. So we're going to wait for the strawberry DNA to form on top, it's going to look white and cloudy. I waited a few minutes as you can see the DNA is clumping together over here and if you like you can get a tweezer or I'm cho using chopsticks and you can take out the DNA so you can look at it. 
and this is our strawberry DNA.